you the full free energy expression, one of the questions you may ask, uh, may be asking is, Professor Simon, how can we calculate chi? Because typically we're not going to know exactly kind of this energy and that energy might change as a function of different parameters. One of the ways that you can uh, kind of experimentally um, determine chi is uh, basically done by Hillenbrand. So at the very end of this lecture, um, we kind of talk and give some supplementary information about how do you determine chi parameters. Um, so Hillebrand developed a method to estimate chi, um, basically using this idea of the heat of evaporation of liquid on a surface and looking at cohesive energy density and solubility parameters delta here. So uh, if you're interested in the notes, it kind of looks at kind of uh, and describes how this was uh, how this was done. But we end up with a very, very kind of critical or nice expression here. Um, this is what we're going to kind of work with to deal with chi. So if I know the solubility parameter of one and two, so this is my solubility of one material, polymer one, polymer two, this V naught is effectively your uh, monomer volume. Again, we're going to see in lectures coming up and videos coming up that we're going to kind of assume for two different polymers, usually the monomer volume is pretty, pretty much the same, or we can approximate it as such. Remember, orders of magnitudes, that we care, that's what we care about here. Um, so we, if we have those solubility parameters, this monomer volume, and we know essentially we could calculate chi for different temperatures uh, and different conditions. So this would be kind of our chi one two, the chi parameter between uh, will polymer one and two. What is the chi parameter of polymer one and two at different temperatures? So going back up here, that is a nice expression to have if you are. Oops, excuse me. If you're asking or if you're wondering. How do I calculate? How do I actually go about calculating chi? I know if chi is greater than zero, that we're going to kind of push towards a demix state. For less than zero, everything's going to mix all the time. But this is a nice expression. If I'm trying to find just chi parameter at a different at a temperature uh, for two different polymers, so solubility one and solubility two squared. So this is that Hill and Brand expression. You give them credit. <laughs> Hill of the Brand. Anyways, it was in the notes that you saw previously. Uh, that will be the expression you could use to again explicitly calculate chi. Uh, but again, we're going to kind of look at it and keep it in general um, in general terms. And again, we just we, you want to know chi value greater than zero, large means these and those one and two do not want to be next to That's kind of the key, key takeaway. Here. All right, full free energy next time. Uh, I hope you enjoy this little supplemental little of supplemental video of how to calculate uh, chi experimentally using solubility parameters. All right. I'll see you next time for some full free energy. All right, have a good one.